Tim Kirby Russia Hot Takes. The Russian state Duma is trying to troll Victoria Newland. Now, there's one person who sort of represents this entire Maidan revolution and the eight years of war that happened after it until the Russians came in and uh, made things get a lot hotter. That would be Victoria Newland. She is definitely the face of. Uh, uh, anti-Russianism. You know, most of the time, even the more astute of us really kind of only know the sort of face leadership of a particular country, like the president or the prime minister. You don't really get into, uh, you know, really understanding or knowing their different, I don't know, foreign affairs department officials. But uh, Victoria Nuland is the most uh, famous, or should I say, infamous uh, State Department worker uh, in Russia in U.S. history by far. So apparently, from what I've read, the State Duma tried to troll Nuland by sort of asking her to come to Moscow during her uh, European trip in April, so that way they could, you know, ask her some questions, I don't know, kind of put her on the hot seat or something like that. So if the Russian media is telling us the truth, and this sort of semi-secret invitation was uh, sent to uh, Ms. Nuland, um then it uh, was probably a wise decision to decline. You know, coming here to be berated by Russian officials uh, en masse uh, wouldn't really gain her anything at all. But that's not the real story. That's obvious that she would decline such an invitation. I think the real thing here that we need to look at is uh, sort of the mentality of these Duma officials that sent that invitation and that feel oh so good about their uh, hard trolling day's work. See, one of the problems of this that I've tried to explain to Russians for years is they don't get that the West sees them as sort of subhuman, aboriginal, bush people that happen to have a lot of oil and nothing more. So in a normal situation, right, if someone were to say, ha, Tim, uh, come on my podcast and we're going to have a discussion about something, right? And uh, I decline because I feel like there's no way I can answer them. They'll defeat me. Well, that makes me look weak, okay? But from this sort of thing... Um, what if like a six-year-old asked me to come on their podcast and de defend my political positions? I don't have time to be talking to like children or, uh, people who don't even know their, uh, uh ass from a hole in the ground, as they say. So Victoria Newland kind of looks at the situation like this. It's, it's almost like being on a Southern plantation. She sees herself as working as part of the, you know, plantation master's estate. And uh, is the plantation master really going to sit there and listen to criticism from the slaves? Not very likely. In fact, there's no point. Uh, the plantation master is probably very sure that the slaves probably don't like him very much and probably have very little uh, positive things to say about him uh, when they're uh, in their hovel at night after a day's work. But remember, when you're the plantation master and you see yourself as God, you don't even think about that. Newland does not think about what the Russians think or feel or care. She doesn't even think or consider for a moment that she may have to justify her arguments or actions with some type of uh, reason to the subhumans that are on the other side of the line. They're the enemy, and they're subhuman, and that's it. So let's keep our plantation analogy going, right? Well, what if the slaves do sort of mock and make fun of or... Uh, provide questions the master can't answer. Well, whoop de doo You're still slaves on the plantation, you know what I mean? And we're all, in a lot of ways, uh, from a Russian standpoint, we're kind of all uh, slaves on the global plantation here. And, you know, the only thing that would actually really hurt the master's feelings would be to break up the plantation, would be to erode the mechanisms that keep those slaves down. Because the most offensive thing to the plantation master, the thing that would be the true trolling would be to make sure that in the future, he is forced to live on equal status with all those former slaves. That would be real trolling, not this junk that the Doom is trying to do. So anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video and you like the opinions coming out of my big fat mouth, then uh, join up on my Telegram channel. That's Tim Kirby Hardcore on Telegram. Link, of course, in the description.